Hello, thank you for joining me. I've just arrived at the Hertfordshire village of Cuffley in my larder. What we're going to do, we're going to go to the railway station, which is just down there. We're going to catch a train and we're going to travel north to find a miniature railway. I just bought my ticket to St Neil's. Oh, I've got a new mask by the way, it says Henry's Adventures. So when I have to wear a mask doing Henry's Adventures, have a special mask for that purpose. So we're at Cuffley Station. This is the little turn-in area. Station car park's up there. Here's the ticket office. We go up to the platform. So this station it opened in 1910. And when it was less than two months old, they renamed it Cuffley and Golf's Oak. And it stayed Cuffley and Golf's Oak until 1971. Now, um, I've never been to this station before, but I used to come to Cuffley quite a lot as a child because if you have a look at this here in the underpass, it talks about beavers, cubs, scouts, explorers, network, etc. There is a big scout camp here called Tolmers in Cuffley. So I used to come here when I was a scout to the Tolmers scout camp. So we're going to enter the back entrance there, out into a housing estate. I'm going to go up here. I've never been up these steps before, so um, it'll be interesting to see what I see. I've, I've been on the Hartford Loop before, but I've just never caught a train from this station. So we're going to catch a train from here to Stevenage. And then from Stevenage, the plan is to catch a train to St Neots, and that's where the miniature railway is, which we're going to travel to. So here we are. Let you have a look at the station. So that's the London bound platform. So, I'm going to wait for my train to arrive before we travel on up to Stevenage. So we are now on the approaches to Stevenage, running beside the East Coast Main Line, which we just burrowed under. And what I'm quite excited about here is there's a new platform at Stevenage, and it's almost like, like a separate station. So what we're going to do, I'm hoping we're going to go into that platform, because although I'm not a super track basher who wants to do every bit of platform there is, because this one's... be arriving at Stevenage. The final destination. I'm hoping because it's Thank the final destination the we're going to go Please into that platform so as I said I'm not train. too worried Change about doing other rail not too worried about doing every bit of track in every platform but because this is a bit separate from the station I'm quite excited about it so um, let's see what happens the reason they've done this is so they can trains like this which have come from Moorgate terminate here they can not occupy a through platform all right it's a 800-012 and there's a Templing train overtaking us. So those trains are very similar to what we're travelling on. They're 700s, this is 717. These ones have a door on the front which I'll point out when we get off for working through the tunnels to Moorgate. Um, those ones don't. Also they'd be too long for the platforms. So um, that's why these trains have to work through the tunnels because they've got a door on the front. It's a requirement of of the trains on that line. So yeah, we have come in to the new platform. So there we go, that is the new platform at Stevenage. So we're gonna get out, we're gonna have a look. Oh, I see, so there's like a separate set of ticket barriers down there. So from what it looks like, it is um, it is like a separate station. You've got to go out that set of ticket barriers and into another set of ticket barriers to access the rest of the station. Let's get out the train and um, we'll, we'll have a quick look around the platforms before going. So we come out here. So the main Stevenage station is just over there. That Thameslink train that pulled in alongside us is sitting in that platform. So previously this train would have occupied that platform. And that's the door on the front I was saying about where it says 717025. That effectively folds out. It's um, I've seen a video of it, it's quite an amusing thing to watch. So what we'll do now, we'll just have a walk down the platform to the other end um, and then I'll have to um, stop filming to get my ticket out to get out of the station so I've got to go out and in so as I said that is the set of ticket barriers which effectively makes it another station um, so it's like Stevenage has almost got two stations maybe you could call this one like um, something like Stevenage West but then that might just confuse people so 
think it's walk to the end. Let's hear another Azuma speeding through on the main line. Got some quite big waiting rooms for people who have to wait here. So I suppose if you're coming to Stevenage, you knew you were going to Moorgate, you know you've got to come onto this platform um, rather than, you know, go onto the main part of the station. That's interesting. Is that another way out? There's a ramp up there. I don't know if that's an official way out. Well, there, there's a gate, but it's closed off, so it probably isn't the official way out. So here we are down the end of the platforms. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to have to walk back, um, get out, get over to the main platforms. From there, we're going to travel north to St Neots to find this miniature railway. So here we are at St Neots. That way is looking towards London, and that way is looking north. A couple of things I just wanted to show you here. That's the original ticket office. Now see this end wall here? They demolished that when they put the ticket barriers in when they first fitted the station with ticket barriers. You'd have come out there, you'd have been fenced in, and there was a footbridge here to get you onto the platforms. As you can see, both platforms are island platforms. But then when they wanted to make the station um, accessibility for everyone, they put lifts in. What they did, they moved the ticket barriers upstairs, where we're going to go in a minute. I've got my ticket ready to, so we can get out of the station. And they put in a lift there. And they also made another way out the station into the modern housing estate over there. So um, you can use the footbridge here if you're just walking, walking through the station. So if you're not actually um, wanting to catch a train, you can just walk through the station. It's quite good, actually, because it means you could watch trains from on the footbridge but be outside the ticket barriers. So we'll go up here. It's a bit like Stevenage, this um, design, but a more modern version of how Stevenage is. Because um, Stevenage, you can also walk through the station from one side to the other without going onto the platforms. Here's that the ticket barriers are open, so I um, don't need to put my ticket into the barrier. So if we get to here, um, that's the new way out. You see what I mean? You get a really nice view of the railway line. Um, it'd be nice if a train would come along, preferably a class 91. But I don't know if we'd be that lucky. And then if we look south, you can see the ticket office. So we're now going to go down the steps out to the front of the station. So we come down here. Um, and then what I'm going to do, I've got to walk through the town centre to find this miniature railway. So here is the ticket office. It looks like it still is the ticket office, yeah. I think it still is the ticket office. So um, if you were to buy your ticket, you go into the ticket office there, you go up over there. I'm now going to walk into the town and let's go and find this miniature railway. Well, here we are, this is the River Great Ouse in St Neots Town Centre. The town Centre's behind us, and the railway we're going to, called the Riverside Miniature Railway, it's somewhere down here, so I'm going to find my way down. We're going to go and have a ride. It's one of the newest miniature railways in Britain. It's only been here a couple of years, so I'm quite excited to have a ride here. Um, it's going to take us around the park from what I understand. So maybe once we get past this Weeping Willow, there's like another course of the river this must be like an island effectively and um, so there we are there's another course of the river the railway is down there somewhere um not exactly sure where because i've never been here before but what i'm going to do i'm going to keep walking i'm going to go down there into that park and um can we go and find the riverside miniature railway well here we are down in the park um i've walked here from the station as you know, it's been about a mile's walk, so just so if you're thinking of visiting by train, you're aware of that. But that said, it's been a very flat mile's walk, so it's um, been quite easy. It's taken me about 20 minutes, and here we are. Here is the Riverside Miniature Railway. It's just through here, so um, I'm going to go through here, and um, thank you. And we're going to go and ride the train. So we come in through here, as you can see. It says the railway's open today. The level crossing is closed, so it looks as though we've got to wait for a train to pass. Oh no, they're opening it for me. So there is a train waiting, but I'm been allowed to pass. Thank you. No problem. So here we are, we arrive at the railway station. So what we're going to do, we're going to go and 
have a ride as we usually do and uh, see where this railway takes us. Those have not been here before, quite excited about it. It's only been here for three years, this railway, so it really is one of the newest miniature railways in Britain. But there we are, there's our train. This train's going. So we'll see the train go and then um, we'll have a ride when it comes back. Nice sound of the diesel. So the train is going to go, you see it kind of goes off on a big circuit around through the woods so not exactly sure where it's going to take us but I'm really excited to find out. So I'm now just going to wait here at the railway station for the train to arrive.
I really enjoyed my trip on the Riverside Miniature Railway. Now before we go, I've been given permission to have a little walk around the turntable and show you a couple of other things. So here is their turntable. We've got a few smaller diesel locos. We've got one on the turntable. Um, we've got another one here. This one's called Spirit of Rotary. And then down here we have the steaming base there's no steam locos here today but this is where if you have a steam locomotive this is where you would light your fire and build steam up before going out for a ride but we have this loco here called bluebell let's let you have a look at that and what we're going to do um, we're going to go and have a look you may have noticed from the ride that there are plans for an extension here so I've been given permission to walk up to where the extension is going to go and we'll show you, I'm not going to show you the whole extension, but I can show you some of it. So when you ride this railway, once you've had your train ride, you get off the train just over there and you'd exit by going off down that path and across the crossing where you came in on. But if we walk up this path, we will come to the level crossing and that's where we can um, see the extension where it's going to leave the existing tracks. It's going to be quite a complex line when it's finished. As I said, it is a fairly new miniature railway. It's only opened in 2017 and it's developing. So when the extension is done, it's going to be you know even more exciting than it is now. So we come to this crossing here. Um, and if you have a look, you can see a bit of concrete carries on. That is the start of the extension. There'll also be another track there. So there'll be effectively two more loops. And if you look, in this direction here you can see another extension going off or site of an extension so effectively it'd be like a figure of eight and an outer loop so it'll really be quite an exciting railway and um, I really like this this S curve here so what I'm gonna do now um, I'm just gonna you know uh, watch a few trains get a few shots of the trains going around and then after that um, it'll be time to head back to St Neots railway station and get the train back Well, I've really had a great afternoon here at the Riverside Miniature Railway in St Neots. Um, the volunteers are all very friendly. I've really enjoyed chatting to them and seeing their locos having a ride. And as we saw with the extension that's under construction, I'm really looking forward to, you know, coming back and um, having a ride on the extension around further around the woods that way so i'm now going to walk back to st neots railway station it's also a really quite a nice park so if you are coming here you can have a nice walk around the park as well as a ride on the train as i said it is about a miles walk but it's a very comfortable flat miles walk from the station so and you could always stop and you know in the town on the way so i'm just going to walk off over this bridge this is like a little inlet off the river ooze and uh, walk back through the town centre to the railway station so I hope you've enjoyed this video 
Thank you very much for watching. And like I said, if you're out this way, do come and visit the Riverside Miniature Railway. It's a lovely railway and it's going to be extended in the future. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Tell your friends both about Henry's Adventures and the Riverside Miniature Railway. Thank you very much. Goodbye.